What is up, YouTube? Bunny Foams here with a brand new video, and we are back in the great game of farming and friends. And today's video, we are going to be planting, growing, and then harvesting cypress trees and seeing how much money we can make after buying just one box of cypress seeds. So these were added in the lumber update, which wasn't too far back. It's one of the newest seeds added to the game. There's also cocoa, which is sold at the same store. But if we actually want to go ahead and buy these seeds, we need to first go ahead and buy ourselves a tree cutter. So right down here, it's 75,000 coins. I did have one at one point, but I did sell it just so I would have the extra space on my plot of land. But we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll buy another one. But I hope you all are having fantastic days. Right now, we're in a private server. Um, so, um, yeah, but the link's in my Discord server. If you ever do want to join or you see me in a private server, chances are it is in my Discord. Um, but anywho... We're going to park this over here by the back of our warehouse. We're going to have to destroy some farmland just so we have some space for, um, because there's like different soil you have to plant. So we're going to go under, let's see, fields. Yeah, we have to put forest soil down. So let's go under sell. And we're going to sell this for 84 coins. I'm going to move this chainsaw out of the way. I'll give it to the cow. Maybe he can help chop down trees later. But let's go ahead and get the forest soil down. And we need to at least get 50 tiles which I don't think is going to happen. No, this is only 28. So what we can next do is sell this entire field. Wow, that's a lot. But okay, so now we have that done. Let's go ahead and we're going to go to, um, let's see, where is it? Fields, there we go. Four soil. And let's go ahead and we'll do five by 10. Like that, there we go. Press enter. And now we can go ahead and, um, I mean, yeah, we'll just hop, we'll drive this back over to my tractor and then we're going to go hop in my tractor, go to the store and then, um, come back with the seeds. I, um, I, let's see what else do I have to say? Um, yeah, I'm going to be, well, no, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, um, if you have any ideas for things you want me to do in this game, let me know. I do want to like experiment with different crops because I know I did Cypress at one point. Um, stop. Please stop. Um, I did do Cypress at one point, but um, it just is not that profitable. And it takes a whole lot of time to chop down all the trees because we also need to get. Oh, goodness. I, maybe I think the game is going to want us to also buy um, a uh, like a log holder because we I had one at one point again, but I did sell it recently just so I would have space in my warehouse. So hopefully. It doesn't, it lets us buy the seeds without it, but chances are it is going to require it just like it did require that tree cutter. Okay, come on, it's on the counter. Hey, okay, we got it for 150,000. So now we can go ahead and we're going to head back to our base. We're going to plant these seeds and then eventually when we do have to harvest them, we'll buy the log holder and then we'll bring them back to the store and see how much they sell for. And we have our box of cypress seeds, so what we now need to do is we actually need to plow and cultivate that land. And luckily we do have all of our equipment out here because in the last Farming and Friends video we did paint all of it. Also it is a bit dark out so it's a bit difficult to see. So let's go ahead and I think it should be a bit more visible at least when we're on the snow. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to just begin plowing this with our level 5 equipment. And level 5 equipment's great because it does plow three tiles at once, whereas level 4 equipment only does two tiles. So I definitely do recommend that. But let's go ahead and we're going to go like this and do another turn like so. And it's pretty easy because there's only 50 tiles, but it does get a lot more difficult when we do have like larger fields, especially of cypress trees, because they take a bit of time to cut down. Um, we're going to go ahead and we'll drop this back off over here and pick up our cultivator and then we can, um, cultivate that field. And now that the land is cultivated, we can go ahead and begin planting the seeds and hopefully they won't take too long to grow, but I won't be surprised if it does take like around maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes just for the seeds to grow. We need to go ahead and find where my cedar is. Uh, it's probably inside the garage, if anything. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside of here. Hop out, still carrying the seeds. And I think I saw it over here. Oh, wait, is that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's it over there. Okay. So it's hiding behind my semi truck. So let's go ahead and hop back into my tractor. And there's a whole lot of people here. So let's navigate around that. Let's see. Can we attach to? Hopefully it doesn't have any potatoes in it. I mean, if it does, then I don't I think we can actually get the potatoes out. Oh, goodness. It has potatoes in it. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, what I'm going to do instead, I need to detach that, and we're just going to buy another cedar uh, just for the sake of time, because I'd have to plant those 400 potatoes 
and that would take a bit of time because I'd have to cultivate the... I mean, it probably will not be too bad, but still, I, I'd rather just get these planted as quickly as possible. So um, we do have plenty of money, so we'll just buy another cedar. So we're just going to get this 30, uh, 32,000 coin uh, cedar. It's like level 3 one. Um, actually... Yeah, we're just going to get that one because it can plant two tiles at once, and it's pretty cheap as well. I don't need to get another level 5 uh, cedar because like the only difference is that it plants more tiles at once. But this one is good enough for now, so let's go ahead and try to back into it. Not the best uh, tractor driver. Well, let's attach. There we go. And it does have capacity 400, which is pretty decent. Uh, but sadly, I will sell it later on just because you can't really share equipment with anyone else. I'd, I'd like to give it away, but I mean... That's not really possible. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start plowing this field. It should be pretty simple, and or uh, not plowing, but uh, seeding the field. Uh, we're, it's, it's going to be pretty simple. It's cool to see those little saplings. I mean, it's been a while since I've grown uh, cypress. But once we have all of these grown, we can wait for them to grow. Or no, once we have these all planted, then we can go ahead, wait for them to grow, and then begin harvesting, and then eventually sell them and see how much money we actually make from a whole box of cypress seeds. And now, after waiting only like 15 minutes, the trees are ready to be harvested. It just began snowing, and when it does snow, or when it, like it's not the Christmas update anymore, when it rains, um, the crop growth uh, does get a boost. But we can now go ahead and hop into our tree cutter and begin chopping trees down. And I'm not going to chop down every single camera, or every, not every single tree for the video, uh, just because it gets repetitive, but I'll show you the first few trees. But you press R when you're in here, and it, I didn't want to grab that one but apparently i did so then it does a really cool cutting animation cuts all the leaves off i think this is probably one of the coolest animations in the game it's just like so well done but we'll drop the log and no wait can i pick this up pick up log okay hold on i want to put this in here there we go now it says drop in trailer and there we go it's in the trailer, so I don't know exactly how many logs fit in that trailer, but we will find out later on. Um, also, one weird thing is that like the wheels and like part of the tractor or part of the tree cutter do detach for some reason. I don't know the reason behind that, but if you press drop, it does this really cool arm animation, which I love. But then like the wheels fall off for a moment. Maybe that'll be fixed or something, but let's keep cutting trees down. And then we're going to sell all of this and see how much it does cost. And then we'll factor in how much we spent on all of this equipment. And the first trailer is now loaded up. It has a capacity of 23 logs, which I think is pretty decent. So we can go ahead and go sell this. And then we'll have to make two more trips just um, to bring all 50 logs to the sell place. And it'll be interesting to see how the selling goes. I think we have to like pick up every log and then place it on the conveyor. Uh, but then uh, we'll total up how much money we made and then we'll subtract the cost of the equipment. I believe we spent about nearly 200000 on just equipment because we got the cedar, the tree cutter, and the trailer. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we get 84,525. Uh, so 23 logs goes for about 80,500 um, without the boost. Because if you are in the group, then you do get like a 5% boost. And there go all of our logs into a sawmill. I feel as if my work just goes to waste because I'm seeing all these little wood chips coming flying out. Because um, they're like destroying my wood or something it's like a paper shredder almost uh but that's not as much as i did expect um it, i doubt we will actually make our money back because like i said we spent about two hundred thousand on equipment which is the cedar the tree cutter and then this trailer and then we also spent an additional one hundred and fifty thousand on um on the what should we call it the uh seeds so, well, technically for the equipment, I believe we spent 180000 So 180000 plus uh, 150000 is like 330000 spent on this. And just the fact that we didn't even get 100000 coins from selling all of these logs just tells me that we're not going to make a profit off of this. Maybe it's just because um, we bought all this equipment and then eventually we will make the money back. Uh, but we will also compare it to like the cost of the seed and see what the, if we make our money back. We definitely should um, get more than 150000 from this because if we didn't, then that just literally mean that there's no way to be profitable with uh, cypress trees. But it'll definitely be interesting to see um, how this goes, how like how long it takes to chop down 50 trees and then compare to potato, uh, which I'm pretty sure potatoes already the best, but we'll see. And the second load of logs is ready. There are still four more trees that have to be chopped down. So we will go ahead and do that in just a moment. If we can actually navigate through all these cars, 
There we go. And we'll probably make the same amount as we just did when we sold our last load, just because it's not really going to change on like potato and other crops where it does um, sometimes go up and down. The price fluctuates. And let's go ahead and see 84,525. Let's go ahead and sell. I'm not going to go ahead and stick around to watch that animation. So we'll go ahead and we're going to get the last four trees chopped down, sold and figure out how much money we made. And before we do chop down the last tree, I do just want to mention that it looks pretty cool because of the Christmas update, they added some snow to the top of the trees. And I think that's a really nice touch. So now destruction, tear down the tree, put it in the truck and then go sell. And for these last four logs, I'm probably going to guess we're going to get like 10,000 somewhere around there. Um, let's go ahead and that's a, that's one of the level five tractors you can buy in the game. This one is the first level five tractor, but it did cost Robux. But that one you can buy for in-game money. I just don't have a reason to buy that because I already have one. But let's go ahead and tell to see how much money we made and then we'll see how much we profited. So let's pull up here to the incinerator. Oh, 14,700. Not bad at all. So if we do the math... Um, from all of this, we made 183,750 coins in the game, though we do have to subtract the cost for the number of seeds, which is 150,000. So in reality, we only made 33,750, just, um, round that up to 34,000. And that is definitely not worth it because these seeds cost so much. They take so long to harvest. It took me 20 minutes to harvest, um, 50 trees. Uh, whereas potato, it's much easier to harvest. You can plant a whole lot more and it's just so much better. So that's my, um, for, well, from what I'm taking from that, Cypress is definitely not worth it at all. Cocoa, I mean, I haven't really looked at that too closely. I know I did have a cocoa farm, uh, but Cypress is just not worth it at the given uh, price you sell it at. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. I always do appreciate them, but also consider subscribing. And before I do in the video, I do owe a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters. You can join the server discord.gg slash bunnyfilms. And uh, the boosters and channel members are... Anago Films, the ISS, Vox Block, or no, not Vox Box. I always say his name, but he's not a member anymore. Uh, the ISS, Lystrosaur, One Mangry Gamer, YT, Matthew 1164, Dexter Clyde, Devil, Nade, Surf, Epic Nation HD, Messiah Johnson, Six Picks, Aliwa, Big Blocks Dad, Billy Boy, Biddy Bob, Brady Gamer, Dexter Clyde, DQ3W5, El Taco, Finbar, Image, Liming Lumber, Low Guys Owner, Mr. OK, Nee, Reed, uh, Rikitsi, Sir Gilberto, Seraph, the Lonely Canadian, and uh, Liam's. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.